Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I am going to cover comparison operations. I'm going to open up the main program, which is the OB1 block. Then I will go to Network 8 and enter in a comment. Then I will expand Network 8 and move over to the zoom area where I can zoom in to make the ladder editor a little bit easier to see. In the instructions area under comparator operations, there's a variety of instructions available. If you hover your cursor over an instruction, it will bring up context-specific help. So I'm going to take a greater than or equal to instruction and drag that into the ladder editor. In the project tree, I am going to select the optimized data block, and then I'm going to take the temperature value and drag that on top of the comparison instruction. So this is going to be the element that we're going to compare. You can select a different data type if you'd like for the comparison, but this is going to be a real. And then I'm going to enter in the value that I'm going to compare the temperature against, so 100.0. Next, I am going to copy the comparison instruction, and then I'm going to paste the instruction into the ladder editor. Instead of doing a comparison uh, greater than or equal to, I'm going to select the orange triangle and I'm going to pick a less than or equal to instruction. The comparison value, instead of 100.0, I'm going to enter in 120.0. Then when these conditions are true, I'm going to put in a coil instruction to turn on a light. So if the value is between 100 and 120, the light will turn on. So I'm going to enter in a tag that does not exist. So I'm going to enter in light 5. The red squiggly lines indicates the tag is not defined. I'm going to insert an open branch. And then in the comparator operations area, I'm going to select the in range instruction just to show you another method of doing the ladder above. So I'm going to drag the in range instruction into the ladder editor. I'll scroll down so that I can see all of my logic. So for the value, I will use the temperature value again. So I'll do a drag and drop from the details view to bring in the data block element to compare against. The min value, I will put in 100.0. And the max value, I will put in 120.0. So the temperature value has to be between 100 and 120 inclusive. I will select a coil instruction, and I will enter, enter, enter in another light, and it's going to be light 6. This tag does not exist yet either. I could individually right-click on a tag and do define tag, or I can just right-click on the network and select define tag, and all undefined tags will be listed in the define tag dialog. The first thing is the section where I want to define these tags. It's going to be in the global output area, so it will take the next available output address for each definition. As far as the PLC tag table, I can move that tag and put it into the demo tags. And the same thing for light six. I could enter in comments if I want, but I'll press define and create the tags. Next, I will save my project and select download to device. This will start you know, the compiling and allow me to load the program. Once the program is loaded, I will start monitoring. And then to change the temperature value, looks like there's a value of 100 already in the data block temperature. So I will right click and say modify operand, and I will enter in a value of 80. So that would make that condition not true. So light five and light six, neither one of those would be turned on. I'll right click on the temperature tag again modify operand, and this time I will put a value that is within range, so it'll be 120.0. Now light 5 and light 6 are on. So the same thing for the in range. So if I modify the operand, put in a value that is not within range, I'll put in 80.0, my lights will go off. Next I will go offline, and this concludes the lesson on comparisons.